Today I'm going to show you how your rear and side view mirrors work so you can see behind you while driving. Now the rear view mirror mounted to the windshield will show you what's directly behind your vehicle and it's got this little tab here for an anti-glare feature during the nighttime. Now the rear view mirror simply will just slide right off the windshield tab. Now the side view mirror is actually mounted to the door itself so I'm going to start removing the screws. And then I'm going to remove these three nuts that hold the mirror to the door. And with the nuts free, I can remove the mirror from the door. So here we have the mirror removed from the vehicle. This joystick here is manually controlling the mirror to move up and down as I twist it, and in and out as I move it in and out this way. So first things first, we'll remove the handle, as well as this gasket that goes between the door and the mirror. So I'm just going to use my quarter inch ratchet on my Torx bit here to remove these two Torx screws. So I'm just going to reach in here with my wife's little toothbrush here, and pry up on this ball socket adjustment here. And you can see this rod is now loose. Okay, and now we have a few more Torx screws to remove here. And then I'm just gonna use my wife's toothbrush here to pry this triangle piece up. All right, and with all these screws now removed, I can just remove the mirror part from the shell itself. And we can take a closer look at what's going on inside of the structure. All right, so the structure itself is made of a plastic that's reinforced in this web pattern for a nice strong structure that holds it to the body of the car. Now the guts of the mechanism rely on this ball joint here. And you can see here when I attach this handle how the mirror works. I can tilt the mirror up and down like this and that allows it to pivot about this axis in this direction here. And then there's this piece here that attaches inside of the mirror plate here and I can also pivoted about this way by moving it in and out. Now the mirror itself actually pivots about a very large ball socket kind of attachment here that I'm going to destroy next. So next up I'm just going to use a screwdriver here and pry open on these two tabs on the inside here. Oh, crack the plastic. Yeah, crack the mirror. Right, let's lift that out. Ah, oh, you can see that there's a retaining washer in here that's trying to hold everything in. Okay, once the retainer is gone, there's this little star washer, which looks pretty cool. That comes out, and then the mirror retainer comes out. And you can see the ball here that rotated around in this socket. And then over here, it looks like there was a bearing for the washer. Now the mirror itself appears just to be glass. You can see the bluish tint that it has there, with a reflective surface on both the front side and the back side, which is interesting. Now this structure that I mentioned before that could be plastic is actually more of a plastic composite. It's got much sharper edges than plastic, and it's way heavier than plastic would be in the same part configuration. Next up we come to the center mirror here, which you can see it's got this little switch on the bottom to flip it between daytime and nighttime mode. And what that does is it changes the angle of the glass itself relative to the mounting point. Now the mount itself is basically two ball sockets that mount to the windshield here. Now the flip switch here works independent of the adjustability, so you don't have to keep readjusting your mirror between daytime and nighttime modes. Now if you look really closely, you'll notice that there's actually a glass on the front of this mirror here, followed by the mirror surface on the inside. So to get a close look inside of this mirror, I'm just going to cut it open with an angle grinder. And with the mirror cut in half, the mirror itself is much thinner near the bottom relative to the top, which creates a slight angle between the reflective surface here and the clear glass surface on the outside here. Now the basic essence of how a manually flipping dimming mirror works is you've got the light that is entering here in the daytime and it hits the reflective surface of the mirror and most of it is reflected off of the mirror surface here directly into the driver's eye. Now if you hit nighttime mode, what happens? Well, this angle changes now. You've got these lifted pickup trucks with really bright headlights and they shine through the rear glass into the mirror and because this mirror here is now tilted slightly this way in nighttime mode most of that light is reflected off out away from the driver's eyeball. Now the driver himself can still see behind him slightly because there is still some light that is bouncing off the top surface of the glass here and not the 100% reflective surface. So the driver can still see that there is a vehicle behind him but not with all that glare that comes with those lifted trucks. So I'm going to make another incision here so we can see how this mechanism works. So if you look at the mechanism here, you basically have the tab, which is like a cam that moves back and forth. And that moves this mounting point here, which connects to the mounting point on the windshield. I'm just going to use my wife's toothbrush here to remove the rest of this glass here. And as I pull it apart here, it's got this gooey backing that holds it together. You can see the silver underneath here that forms the reflective surface for the mirror. And now if I remove that from the housing, you can see I've got the plastic tab here, I've got the mounting point as well as a metal ball stud going into a plastic piece here 
and then another metal ball stud that mounts to the windshield. Now most modern vehicles use an auto dimming rear view mirror and I've got another video on how that works. Essentially it's basically two sensors that compare the light values from the front and the glare coming from the rear and tint the glass accordingly to reduce the glare. And that's pretty much what's inside of a side view and rear view mirror and how it works. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Here's how to make a prying tool out of your wife's toothbrush. And make sure it's nice and sharp. 